Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. And first, let me start by saying that I love, actually love, every single person that comes on the YouTube channel and comments on the videos, whether it be to praise or to say, can you help me with this? I love that. Earlier this week, I received a comment that was intended to be a negative comment. And the comment said something like this, Jimmy, I'm not going to watch this video because you've already said this in another video, so I don't need to watch it again. You said the same thing twice. Well, that's intended to be negative. To me, it's absolutely marvelous. And let me tell you why. The game of golf, the golf swing is repeatable. You must be able to repeat it over and over and over. Now, imagine this. You walk into your first grade class and the teacher tells you, hello, boys and girls, we're gonna learn math today. And two plus two is four and sends you home. And on Tuesday, she comes back and says, boys and girls, two plus two is five. And on Wednesday, two plus two is six. Your head would explode. Yes, it's repetitive because it works and it's accurate. I'm gonna share it with you again right after this. Okay, so let's talk about it. Repetitive. Yes, the golf swing must be repetitive. You actually, in a round of golf, only need to hit 36 shots. If you hit 36 good shots and two putt every hole, you'll shoot even par. 36. If you can do the same thing 36 times from different distances, you're going to be good. That's all you got to do. It's actually quite easy but you have to have a swing that is repetitive. If I came on here and every time in every video gave you a different concept, what would that be? That would be terrible. Your mind would explode and it wouldn't be accurate because that means it doesn't work. I'm giving you the same things with different little triggers over and over and over again because it works flat out. It works. So if it works, why would you ever change it? Why would I try to teach you anything else when this already works? Let's talk about it. Here's the whole swing. Grip the club, turn back, wave to the camera with your right hand, wave to the camera, leave your hands right here. As soon as the hand goes up to wave, this is the end of your swing. Wave from right here, your hands stay right here. They don't go this way. They don't go that way. They don't go this way. They stay right here. Boom. And from here, you take your lower body and you turn it to the target. Don't have to bring your arms down. Don't have to throw your hands out. Don't have to do that. No. Take it here. From right here, turn your lower body and keep your head down. Again, here, wave to the camera, turn your body, keep your head down. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, yes, I want you to finish your swing with nice balance, but that's it. So I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep telling you and maybe little triggers that help you remember it. But for the big picture, it's just this. Turn back, wave to the camera, and then from here, all you have to do is get your weight and your body going towards the target, just like this. Wave to the camera, get it going towards the target and turn your body. Let your arms go. Do not force them down. Do not throw them out. Do not throw it this way. Just turn it, hold it, boom, wham. That's all it is. My arms are just going along for the ride. Got it? We're going to play a couple holes. I'm going to show you again. This stuff works. You just got to believe in it. And for the gentleman who thought, I'm going to say something nasty. Well, I appreciate it. You know why? Because it solidifies the fact that the tips are good and that the tips work. We have a par five here, dog leg right. 
Got to hit it on the left side. Just put it out there. Here it is in action. I turn back. I wave to the camera. I turn my body and keep my head there. My arms just feel like they're stuck in glue right here. That's pinned across my chest. Boom. Good connection. Hold it there and just turn. Ready? Here we go. 75%. Nothing to it. Par 5. 550. Turn back. Hold and go. A left to right fade in the middle of the fairway. That's one of 36. Done. One of 36. That's all you need. 36 good shots and 36 putts. Do the math. Do the math. Even par. Break it down to where it's not so difficult. Golf really isn't that crazy if you think about it in a big picture like that. It's just making those 36 shots count. On this hole, there's three. On the next hole, there's two. You just got to make them count. That's it. So we're going to play it. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you that this is the real deal. And that's it. And then next week, I'll give you another tip on how to further bond this into your brain. Once you get it, you get it. It's good to refresh it. I watch these videos because sometimes I disconnect and I go, I don't know what I'm doing out here, believe it or not. And then I sit back and I go, okay, let me see the videos. Here's my ball, middle of the fairway. Let me see the videos from when I was playing well. I'm playing well right now. I'm hitting the ball well. So I'll go back and I'll watch this video also. It's 270 yards away. I'm not gonna get it there. I hit a three iron which you can hit also from right here, pin it across my chest, and then turn my body. This doesn't come off. See this glue? It doesn't come off. It doesn't go this way. It just holds right there, and I just turn my body. I go back here, pin it on my chest, and turn my body. Watch. Here, here, turn, pin it, and go. Nice little bullet, might be a touch right. Let me feel that, might be a touch right. But hey, you're not gonna hit perfect shots every time. That will, that will never happen. I don't care how many videos you watch. Every single time, it's your body moving. And every time your body moves, it moves different. It's very, very hard to hit the same shot twice. So, it's limiting the mistakes and not so much limiting the mistakes but limiting the big mistakes because you're going to make mistakes you just can't hit balls out of bounds or hit balls into the water or chunk it or anything like that you got to keep it going in the general direction of the target and with a little bit of distance now i hit this thing really hard believe it or not it was just a little right and now we're going to have to look for it. So strap on and let's look. The rough is a little rough for sure. We got some road construction here. The green is up there. I don't think I hit it. Th oh, is that it right there? It sure is. Look at that thing. Okay. So I have less than 100 yards. Less than 100 yards to a blue flag. I haven't done anything crazy. I haven't done anything like, oh man, he, he hit, you know, great shots and look what he's done. No, I hit a tee shot that was good. I hit a second shot that was okay. And now here I am. So we're gonna drive up here. We got less than a hundred yards right there. I'm inside the white line. So I play it, move this down. The pin is less than a hundred. There's wind helping. So I'm going to punch one to the middle of the green. This is my third shot. Okay. Remember, you get 36 good ones. How do I do these shots, Jimmy? This is close distance and you have a wedge and a... wrong. Take it to here. Pin this thing on your chest and leave it there. And then just turn back. Pin it. Turn, pin, go. Turn, pin, go. Let's go. 
Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's so cabeja. That's Italian. I don't speak Italian, but but like a pisco italiano. Un po. All I know is that's a really good shot. Turn your body, pin that arm to the chest, and then turn back. And I promise you, you're going to play a lot better. So I've hit three shots. Okay. Now remember, I get two putts. And I just do that on every hole. Except the par four. Par four, you got to get on in two. But hey, guess what? If I make this putt, I can save one of those putts for later. Look at, there's my ball. Okay. What is that? Nine feet? Ten feet? Let's look at it. Let's first fix this. Because I did make a pitch mark right here. Zoom down. Boom, got it. Here, we fix it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit the outside, tap it in with this baby. Now we're onto our putter. Let's bring this back here a little bit. Okay, here we go. What do you see? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but this is straight downhill. It's gonna be very, very fast. Okay, it's gonna come off this hill and just it wants to go. So I have to respect it. Do I want to make it? Yes. Do I want a three putt? Absolutely not. I know the ball's going that way. I line it up and I just let it get to the hole. I don't force it to the hole. I let it get there. I know it's going that way. I envision a fishing line from here to here. And I want to hit it on the fishing line right here. There's a pull here and a pull at the ball and there's a fishing line. So I take my line and I go that way. And I think I might have given you the wrong line. Let me see. No, it's going to go that way. I'm right. So I look at the fishing line. I see it. It's going to go that way and then just tap it. I just want to be able to tap in the next one. There's my fishing line. I look at it and I send it down the fishing line. That's it. Send it down the fishing line. Watch down the fishing line. Stop. Okay. Not terrible. It's a fast downhill putt. What do we have? The same thing going up. This is a dead straight putt from here to here. I imagine the fishing line. I hit it on the fishing line. Three, two, one, fishing line. There it is. Three shots, two putts, par. Not too bad, right? Not too hard. Guess what? Guess what? Repeat it on the next hole. Let's go. Repetition. Easiest and most repeatable golf swing there is. You have to be able to hit this shot or any shot in pressure situations. Last year, I played in a pro-am at Pebble Beach with Rory Sabatini, not McElroy. <laughs> Rory. I'm on the first tee box at Pebble Beach in a program where I don't belong with this guy. And this guy's practicing for a round that he's playing the next day for millions of dollars. And I'm out there going, what am I doing here? I'm sh shaking. I have to have a shot. I have to have a swing that I can depend on or else that ball's going into somebody's house. So these are the situations where you wanna have a good, repeatable golf swing. So yeah. I'm going to repeat this stuff because it's repeatable. That's the whole point of the game. Repeat it. We got a par four up the hill, dog leg left. I can't hit driver because the driver will go into the bushes. I take my three iron that I just hit and I do it again. Okay. So let's look at it. Let's set this up back here so we can see it properly. Bam. Bam. Lower it a little bit. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. There's one palm tree out in the distance. You see it right there, that thing? That's my line. Maybe with a little bit of a draw, but if it's straight, it won't hurt me. Okay, never aim where a straight ball can hurt you. Line it straight up to here. Bada bing, bada boom. Here, turn it, pin it. Pin this right here. Leave your hands here and turn your body. Pin it right here and turn your body. This is a half swing. You're not going to hit it far. Yeah, right. Watch. Get here. 
turn back, pin it, leave it. Set it and forget it. You ever heard that? Watch this. Dead straight ball, right at the palm tree. It runs and runs and runs and runs. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I've hit one, two, three, four shots. Four out of 36, done. Four out of 36. Think about that. You only have to hit 36 shots. 36 shots with purpose. You'll play a great round of golf. So four, you count them one at a time. Don't count them all. Don't say, well, you know, I'll hit 10 or no, just go one at a time. 36, 36 good shots. That's all it takes. And if you three putt a couple, so what? Then you shoot 79. But the shots are very, very valuable. So don't waste them. Okay, now I have to hit number five. Shot number five out of 36. The game of odds. Got to get it on the green. I got exactly 150 yards, it looks like. There's the 150 yard marker. There's my ball. There's the flag, red flag, so it's probably a little less. The wind is blowing at my back. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a 50 degree. Jimmy, that's crazy. A 50 degree from 150 yards? Yeah, that little marker right there is 150. That yellow thing right there says 150. The wind, look at the wind blowing. It's helping. So really, it's playing one, probably 46, 142. So anywhere on the green is fine. Okay. Now with this swing, you're going to generate so much more because you have connection. This arm's pinned here. It's strong. Boom. You're punching from here instead of here. Keep it tight. Keep everything tight right here. Hit it on your chest and turn your body. Okay, this thing might go over the green. There's there's some wind up there. Pin it on your chest and turn your body. 50 degree, 150. Oh, be good, baby. Be good, be good. Oh, it went in the bunker. Hey. 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 Let's golf. Let's fix our divot here. Sand it up and move on. Party's not over. What if I could save something from here? Not over. Don't get discouraged. Bunkers are part of the game. That was a that was a risky shot. I probably could have taken more club. Played it a little bit more left. But hey, I'm okay. Life goes on. Let's see if we can save something. Nothing, nothing I haven't done before. It's not the first or the last. All right, let's go look, let's see what we got. Look at these beautiful flowers, by the way. Wow, I don't know what those are called, but they look like they're doing their job. All right, let's go see what we got here. Should be a 20 yard, maybe 15 yard bunker shot. Let's go look at my ball, look at the lie. There it is right there. Okay, marvelous. I'm going to put the camera back here so you can see the result a little bit better. Bunker shots, nothing special. Just hit three inches or two inches behind the ball. Do not hit the ball two inches behind the ball, take a swing and hit down two inches behind the ball, the ball will come out nice and soft. Bunkers are not that difficult. I look and stare two inches behind the ball. I don't look at the ball, I don't care anything about the ball. Dig my feet in, look two inches behind, go up and hit two inches behind. Here we go, three, two, one, two inches behind. Right hard. Very good. Don't forget to rake. Okay, now, guess what? Another three footer, four footer, three and a half footer. Let's call it four feet just because why not? Four feet. I'm going to show you how to read these high pressure putts because this is kind of a high pressure putt. 
got to stay, got to save par. I mean, do you really have to save par? Not really. Who cares? You know, like you'll be all right, but it'd be nice to. There's the putt. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. I know already that it's going to break this way. So I'm already knowing that I have to hit it on this side of the cup. Okay. So I look at it. I line it up. There it is. There's my line. I envision a fishing line from here to right here, fishing line. And all I want to do is hit it down the fishing line. So I line this ball up with the line on the fishing line, ding, 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 and it'll turn in. Let's look again. Perfect. I see the fishing line. I get here. I hit it right down the fishing line. My putter stays on the fishing line. I keep my head down and trust the fishing line. Trust it. That's it. Three, two, one, fire. Easy. That's a big save. That's a big par save. You want to do another one? Another one. Let's do another one. Let me show you how repetitive this is, sir. Golf is repetitive. Golf is repetitive. And I will continue to say it over and over and over and over and over and over again. You know what else is repetitive? My scorecard. Par, 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 par. One bogey, maybe a double. Par, 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 par. I don't make many birdies. I don't know why. Uh, I don't hit it close enough on my second shot. That's just it. My putting's okay. I just, I don't hit it close enough, but that's okay. I'll take pars. Why not? It's fun. Pars are fun. Okay, we got a par four. Let's bring out the boom boom again. 6.9 driver. 6.9? Are you kidding me? That's my loft. 6.9. I have a whole explanation as to why. And it works. Okay, so just trust me. Amateurs, myself included, we flip the ball. We flip our hands at impact. 6.9 gives me a chance. And it would give you a chance too. These guys play nine and a half, ten on tour because they compress the snot out of the ball. We don't. We kind of lift it. So we need a little help. But that's another story for another day. Here we go. Driver. Swing back here. Pin this arm right here. I'm waving at the camera. This is pinned here. I just leave it here. From here, I just turn my body back. Just turn my body back. Just turn my body back. Ready? Get there, pin it, and go. Feeling of greatness. Right down the middle. Every time. That ball is smoked. I mean, I'm talking smoked. 380 yard hole. Not super long. I have less than 100 yards. So that's a good 290. I mean, that's good for me. I, I know some of you guys out here, 350 is your number, but not me. I'm good with a 275, 280. I'm, I'm, I'm redlining at 280. And you can play with that. You can play with 250. You can really play with 220. I've been beat many times by people that hit the ball 220 yards and have phenomenal short game. They hit it 220, and they hit it 180, 40 yards out, up and down every time. It's unbelievable. It blows my mind. I'm trying to hit 300 yard drives. They're like, ah, okay, good for you. And what do they do? They putt, 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 putt. So let's see where this one went. Should be up along the right side. It was the middle of the fairway, and it just ran so much that it might have ran out. Wow. Did it? Oh my God, it did. There it is. So there's the 100 yard marker. You can see it right there. There's the 100 yard marker. There's my ball. So I got a front flag, 100 yards from a flyer lie. Flyer lie means the ball's going to pump out of there. I'm going to hit a 60 degree casually and just try to get it on. Okay? Just try to get it on. So let's see the first hole, three shots. Four, five, six on that one. Seven. Let's see if I can get it on. Eight, eight out of 36. Eight out of 36. 
here we go. I take it here, I hold it, wave to the camera, turn back, look something like this. That's it, somewhere on the green. Nice, here we go, somewhere on the green. Make some money for me, honey. Make some money for me, honey. Make some money for me, honey. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's so repetitive. I'm not learning anything because you've already said this. Yeah, well, guess what, buddy? Sorry to disappoint you. Take some notes, man, because this works. It works. It's the same swing. Every time, every time, they make it the money, then they make it the honey, and then they make it the buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, birdies, you, you have to take a shot after it's birdie juice. It's customary. I haven't made it yet, so what am I talking about? I'll probably miss it. <laughs> but hey, let's look at it. Come on, man. Come on. Repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Be repetitive. What do I have? What do I have here? Two feet? Two and a half feet? Two and a half feet? I'm not doing anything scientific, guys. I haven't even taken a range finder. I had no idea how far I was. Just estimate, smooth it out, get here, pin it, and turn. That's it. It's the easiest thing ever. Ball's going down that way because there's a mountain right there. I don't know if you can see that massive mountain. You know what happens with massive mountains? They go that way. So this is a downhill putt. It's going to be fast and it's going to break that way. Sure is not going up to that mountain. So I know it's going that way. I have to hit it with that in mind. It's downhill and breaking left. So what does that mean? I draw a fishing line from here right back to the ball right there. I know it's going to do that. I pick my fishing line, line, and then I just hit it on the fishing line. That's it. I see it. I see the fishing line. I step up and hit it right down the fishing line. Three, two, one. Fire. Oh my God. Yo. Relax. Relax. Everybody take it easy. <laughs> Everybody take it easy. I'm allowed two putts, remember. It's okay. It's no problems. It's no problems. Bada bing, bada boom. I gave it too much respect. I thought it was gonna break more. Now I draw the fishing line from this in on the hole. I don't give up the hole here on these little short ones. Maybe just on the left edge, draw a fishing line and hit it right down the fishing line. Out of a three, two, one, let's go fishing. Bingo. Okay. A little mix up there. It happens. I kept it. I saved the par. That's three pars in a row. Guess what? Repetition. The easiest and most repeatable golf swing. This is how you do it. I hope this helps you. And thank you so much for watching.